Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So I've got some more lockdown news, a news roundup of sorts. I have a bit of a ramble and I've got some information on Bill Gates, which isn't exactly new, but I hadn't heard it before. And I've dug up some stuff around it that is interesting. But first, Debenhams, the brand, the department is yet another casualty of the lockdown, has been bought out by Boohoo and ASOS for 55 million. Now Debenhams was a department store in the UK, massive, big stores, multi-level floors, huge, that you notice that Boohoo and ASOS, who are owned by a billionaire businessman, surprise, surprise, you'll notice they didn't want the physical stores. They just wanted the brand and the website, which means all 118 stores will shut for good in March and all employees of Debenhams, which I believe is about 12,000 in total, are all out of a job. This is the Great Reset in Action. This is the result of lockdowns. You know, the government, they should just keep on going with the lockdowns because there are still some people with jobs left. And we can't be having that now, can we? The grand plan of the fourth industrial revolution in action. No high streets, stay indoors and shop online. No cash needed in a future cashless society. No clubs to dance in, no jobs, except as a delivery driver on zero hours contract, forced to be self-employed. No sick pay or pensions and tracked and traced 24 hours a day, seven days a week with your barcode, health passport. That's the idea. Well, if that's the idea, you can stuff it. You can shove it where the sun doesn't shine. Oh, but you won't be able to travel without your health passport. You won't be able to get back to a relatively normal life unless you do what we say. Really? I don't care. You can stick it. All right? I won't go anywhere. I'll just become a hermit. You're not going to coerce me into your spider's web. No feckin' way. Okay? So here's a, an interesting story about Bill Gates. Okay? You're going to have to bear with me a bit with this because it starts off with this article from 2017. It's a good example of how everything is the wrong way round, how it seems these days that those people have, who have all of the money, they seem to want to take that money and invest it in enterprises that take something that's natural and then flip it into the opposite of what it was in order to profit from it. Look at this tweet I saw today. I mean, just look at that title. Look at it. What sense does that make? What kind of world are we living in when someone says this and expects you to accept it as a good idea or, or accept it as anything but crazy? This comes from a magazine in 2017. The statement comes from the American Academy of Pediatrics, the AAP. A few years back, they told health professionals to stop describing breastfeeding as natural because it says here, it could lead parents down the path of alternative medicine, homeschooling, and becoming anti-jib-jab. They say the label of natural gives the impression that breastfeeding is healthier and better and that the AAP have launched a campaign to stop the positive use of the word natural. Does that make any sense? No. Once again, we see a twisted, nonsensical narrative pushed out. And remember, this is from a few years back. Now remember, it's coming from the American Academy of Pediatrics. They are saying that breastfeeding should not be described as natural because it might make the mother an anti-jib-jab person. And oh look, look what I found. The Gates Foundation have donated one and a half million in 2011 and then another further one million in 2014 to the American Academy of Pediatrics. Furthermore, the senior, senior vice president of AAP originally came from the Gates Foundation, where she was a senior program officer. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff connecting the Gates Foundation and the American Academy of Pediatrics. So now let's fast forward to 2020 and you see, oh look, who it is, it's him again. It's everyone's favorite medical expert who has no medical qualifications. It's everyone's favorite farmland owner who rarely sets foot on a farm. It's Bill Gates and look, he has invested in artificial baby milk. It says here, babies could soon be making an unwitting contribution to battling climate change with the help of Bill Gates. The philanthropist and co-founder of Microsoft has poured millions of dollars into a startup that hopes to develop artificial breast milk to reduce the carbon footprint of mothers who choose not to breastfeed. So for those mothers who choose not to breastfeed, 
might be one of those mothers who saw that message put out by the AAP saying that breastfeeding was not natural. So the last couple of, a couple of years, there have been loads of articles written by health experts saying that the word natural shouldn't be used in conjunction with breastfeeding. You see them here, CNN and other places. You know, these articles seem to be an orchestrated effort to diminish the idea of breastfeeding and gradually influence mothers to not want to breastfeed, maybe by saying things like this in the article. If doing what is natural is best in the case of breastfeeding, how can we expect mothers to ignore that powerful worldview when making choices about other health practices like the jab? Now, in all fairness, Bill Gates has not said that breastfeeding is not natural. His wife wrote an article in 2017 called Melinda Gates on breastfeeding. It's natural, but it sure ain't easy, where she talks about how Personally, she found it very difficult and how much of an ordeal it might be for other mothers. And then, oh look, three years later, Bill, he's investing in artificial milk with his billionaire friends, Richard Branson and Mark Zuckerberg, as can be seen in this headline from last year. Bill Gates, Zuckerberg, other billionaires invest in environmentally friendly artificial breast milk cultured from human mammary. It says here, a new and better breast milk alternative has arrived and it claims to be helpful for the environment as well. The US firm BIOMILQ is artificially producing human breast milk from cultured human mammary epithelial cells to be commercially available to consumers. The startup company has received 3.5 million from an investment fund that is co-founded by Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson and Mark Zuckerberg. The fund was established to help prevent the ill effects of climate change brought about by carbon emissions. So again, you know, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Zuckerberg, the big tech giants wanting to feed your children artificial breast milk. I mean, how much does Bill Gates want? He owns half of all of the farmland in the USA. So he obviously wants to be a power player and try and control the production of food in the USA at the least. And we know he has invested heavily and wants you to eat lab-grown artificial fake meat, which of course is what the World Economic Forum have said that in 10 years with their prediction of you won't be eating meat unless it's a very, very special occasion or you're incredibly rich. I'm sure Bill will be still tucking into steaks while he's forced everyone to eat his lab grown meat. He also wants everyone to get the jab in the world. He's invested billions into vaccines over the years and you better believe it. He wants everyone to get the jab and now he seems to want to be feeding your babies with artificial milk cultured from human mammary. This guy has way too much influence and power and everything he seems to do, and a lot of these big tech firms, it seems to be about taking something that's natural and turning it into something artificial and unnatural. Again, this is all back to front. We are living in an upside down, topsy-turvy world. Nothing really makes sense. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come and subscribe to hugotalks.com so I can keep in touch with you in case YouTube pulled a plug on me. And I'll see you later.